friends welcome to this third session on plastic processing methods so in this session we are going to discuss on plastic processing method that is extrusion process so types of extrusion as well as the advantages and applications of extrusion process so earlier we discussed about the injection molding process now today we are going for extrusion molding process so as earlier in earlier session we discussed plastics can be easily processed and again there is a economic viability cost quality temperature etc they are easily attainable at a low temperature we can process it and can produce the desired component so plastic requires less energy to process low temperature is also and we can machine it we can cast it we can form it in the desired you know shape and little post processing is required here and we get a very good surface finish today we are going for uh, understanding the extrusion process extrusion process application is it is used for long uniform solid or hollow complex cross sections and the characteristic features of extrusion process mainly it gives high production rates low tooling cost that means the cost of the process is very less and it fulfills the tolerance requirement that means the quality is also attainable as per the requirement the categories of plastics various cat as uh, specified by the society of plastics industry and based upon that the plastic is utilized for a particular type of product manufacturing now today our focus is on extrusion process this is what is the setup of extrusion process so there is a hooper through which granules or powders are fed to the machine and there is a extruder screw that rotates and that presses those granules and then externally that is that chamber is heated and due to that the granules or powders liquefies and it screw forces that material to the end of that chamber and then it forces in it into the die and then that liquefied plastic takes the shape of that die shape and when the resulting component comes out it is in the form of that die shape and then there is a water cooling externally it is cooled because it is at a uh, moderately at high temperature so this is what is the setup and the stages in the extrusion process are raw materials they are thermoplastic pellets granules or powder they are fed placed in hooper and through that it is fed into the extruder barrel as seen and then the screw it blends pellets and pushes them down the barrel through the feed and there is again a uh, transition phase where it melts those granules and then it uh, forces is uh, forced through a die under pressure so there uh, pellets of other plastic processes are made by extruding small diameter rod etc so this is what is uh, equipment again in more detail we see all the critical aspects of this extrusion process so here the uh, thrust bearing gear uh, redu reducing box and the motor uh, which which uh, uh, you know uses the variable speed to rotate that screw hooper is shown there through that the granules or powders are fed and then it is given to that barrel that barrel is externally heated there are three zones there one is feed zone second is the melting zone and third one is the melt pumping zone so that 
powder which is fed or granules which are fed through the hooper that screw electrode uh, extruder screw it rotates and presses it to the other end where the through the melting zone and when the sufficient amount of uh, liquefied plastic is available at the melt pumping zone it pumps that liquefied plastic into that die and then there is a filter again screen which is shown there and then there is a melt thermocouple so that is now given to the die and then it is allowed for cooling so this way the extrusion process is a continuous process so to produce both solid and hollow products of a constant or a uniform cross section so that there is a tapered screw which we see here that takes that those granules or powder and then uh, forces it there is a temperature given and then again there is a frictional force which adds to that temperature gradient and then that extruder barrel determines the cross section of the extrusion in this case the thicker cross sections you know they are extruded more slowly because more time is required and more force is required so the stages as now earlier discussed thermoplastic granules are fed from the hooper by a rotating screw through a heated cylinder and then the tapered shape of the screw compacts the plastic as it becomes plastic this softened material now is allowed to flow out through a die in a continuous stream so the die which is fitted at the end of the extruder barrel it determines the cross section of the extrusion that is outcoming product so as the extrusion that is the outcome product leaves the die it is cooled by passing through a cooling trough containing a cold water so this is a cooling chamber shown there so then when the product comes out uh, through a die there is a cooling chamber that cools that material and then the extruded products that required cross section is available so this way now coming to the types of extruder here various types are there as per the requirement the most common is single screw extruder that is in that there are three types plasticating multi stage and rubber extruders there are there is again another type multi screw extruder in that there are three types twin screw planetary roller extruders and then the third type is screwless extruder in that there are th three types disc drum and ram extruder so this one is a single screw extruder shown there then again um, vented extruder to take care of uh, you know the temperature control rubber extruder for softened material and there is again a transfer mix that is the multi stage extruder which uh, applies a uh, different you know frictional uh, force so that a required temperature is generated at the melt zone so multi screw extruder planetary gear it uses and then there is a twin screw extruder for slightly thicker sections these are applied now screwless extruders are available there are three types in this drum extruder disc extruder and ram extruder so it is all up to the selection based upon the type of cross section you are going then the question comes why a screw is used compared to a plunger now screw gives us more advantages single screw or double stage screw uh, that it ease of a temperature control process temperature control is very much essential then most importantly the quality of extruded product depends upon the melt quality so melt quality is better because of uniform temperature throughout that zone no unmelt this is very crucial and no overheating so uniform heating takes place and another most important advantage given by screw is energy efficiency compared to the plunger that's why the screw extruders are preferred now flow of plastics through extruder barrel takes place when it takes place actually there are three types of flows one is drag flow 
that is molten plastic is pushed forward along the screw edges. But there are again two types of flows they come into the picture. One is pressure flow that is reverse flow due to high end pressure. And then another one is leak flow that is reverse flow over the screw edges. So that you know reduces the amount of the drag flow that is taking place there. But the factors which are dependent, the uniformity that is required, better melt quality, better energy efficiency, that is conduction plus compression and then conduction plus friction, which is more energy efficient compared to plunger. So, these factors are mostly dependent on screw geometry, screw speed, barrel temperature and the flow of plastic. So, all these you can easily attain it with the help of the screw that is why. So, materials now used for extrusion process, practically all thermoplastics we can deploy it, relatively uh, high viscosity and melt strain material like polyethylene, polypropylene, polyvinyl chloride etcetera and highly viscous polymers uh, they are used for a screwless or ram extrusion. So, those applications are there. This is again an example of twin screw extruder is demonstrated there and we get a profile extrusion of thermally sensitive material like polyvinyl chloride. The example is shown there as per the requirement and then now coming to the process advantage, better feeding because of a single screw extruder then can produce hard to feed material, this uh, single screw can process it and better mixing, larger heat transfer area and good temperature control. Now, post extrusion products means after finishing this entire stage wise process, we get a rod or a profile, pipe and tube, sheets and films, filament, wire and cable and even co extrusion product means laminates. So, these are the products given by extrusion process. Pipe extrusion is very common, uniform, but that requires a sizing and that exact to produce exact pipe dimension, a sizing mandrel is used. So, internal sizing mandrel that ensures that even external sizing is with the help of pressure sizing or vacuum sizing and then with the help of this exact pipe dimensions are attainable. So, here these are shown uh, pipes of very large cross sections, large diameters and uh, this can be easily produced of a required size and length cross section. There is no size limitation and this is a very good characteristic of a uniform cross section and strength you can produce it with the help of extrusion process. Now, when the polymer melts there, the viscosity reduces with temperature and polymer melts have viscoelastic properties due to that the extrusion dye swells and uh, this is nothing but a mani manifestation of viscoelasticity. So, process is under control, the materials which are used in extrusion is again uh, thermoplastic elastomers. There are a lot of examples of this typical extruded part, plastic parts with the help of extrusion plastic. They are shown here of various cross sections there. So, commonly extruded products once again, pipe or tubing, then weather stripping, fencing, deck railing, window frames, plastic films and sheeting coatings and wire insulation, all these products are having wide applications in the field and for producing this, lot of these materials are deployed, you can as earlier I mentioned, polyethylene, polypropylene, acrylic, nylon, polystyrene, PVC, polyvinyl, chloride, styrene, polycarbonate, these are the materials which are commonly used. The length of the part is potentially infinite, so you can produce part of any length, process is quick and good for batch as well as for mass production. Our only disadvantage is must have a constant cross section, it should be 
must be the same all the way along. This is the only constraint. Now, after understanding this extrusion process, whether we correctly understood the things or not, it's a quiz time now. The first quiz question is which of the following material is not used in extrusion? There are four options given there, wax, granules, powder and pellets. Now the answer is wax, wax is not used. B, C and D, granules, powder and pellets, they are very commonly used as the material used in the extrusion process. The second quiz question, which of the following is not an important factor of cooling in extrusion? First one is reduction in shrinkage, second one is reduction in distortion, uh, third one is ease of hiding color and fourth one is rate of cooling. Now the obviously the answer is C that is ease of adding color it has nothing to do with this process of cooling all three parameters are related to that cooling process so that is why answer is C. Now coming to the third question which of the following is not an important application application of polymer extrusion first one is door insulation seals chewing gums cables and circuit boards. Now answer is D circuit boards, this is not an application of polymer extrusion. Fourth question, melting section is another name of which section in extrusion? First one is op four options are given there, feed section, transition, transitioning section, pumping section and collapse section. The answer is B that is transition section where the which is also termed as a melting zone of that extruder barrel. So that's all about the extrusion process. Thank you for joining and now let us in the next session we are going to see the blue molding.